Welcome to Codebox. In this tutorial, we will be touching on how to add text to images in PHP. If you want to follow along, the source code download is on the Codebox website. Link in the description box below. But before we start, please make sure that the GD extension is enabled on your server. To do a quick check, simply create a script with the PHP info function. Access this script in the web browser, and search for GD. If the GD section is not found, open and edit your PHP INI file. Search for extension equals GD2. Remove the semicolon in front, and that will enable the GD2 extension. With that, let us now get into the PHP script. Contrary to what some people think, adding text to image is actually very easy. Start by creating an image object, using the image create from JPEG function. Then use the image TTF text function to add the text to the image. This function takes in eight parameters. The first one, is the image object itself. Followed by the font size. Text angle starting X and Y coordinates. Then, the text color. This is slightly confusing, as we have to use another image color allocate function to define the color. The seventh parameter is the path to the font itself. Lastly, the text to write onto the image. And that's it. We can now directly output the image to the browser, using the image JPEG function. Or alternatively, save it onto the server itself. That should cover the basics. But if you are looking to center the text on the image, things get mathematical. As you already know, we use the X and Y coordinates to position the text. This will place the lower left corner of the text box at this coordinate on the image. So to center the text box on the image, we have to calculate the exact center X and Y coordinates. To do that, we first get the dimensions of the image, using the image SX and SY functions. Then, get the bounding box of the text using the image TTFB box function. This will return an array of 8 numbers. 0 and 1, are the X and Y points of the lower left corner. 2 and 3, are the points of the lower right corner, and so on. To get the width of the text box, we will take the rightmost point, minus the leftmost point. To get the height of the text box, we will take the topmost point, minus the bottommost point. With these, we can now calculate the center coordinates. For the x-axis, we take the width of the image, minus the width of the text box. Then divide by 2. The same for the y-axis. We take the height of the image, minus the height of the text box. Then divide by 2. And that's it. If you want to position the text box somewhere else, simply change these calculations. With that, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to learn more. See you in the next one.